try to say that Ken did not have a midlife crisis. Instead, he had a midlife inspiration. Who would have thought that this little 4-H project with our daughter Kelly would turn into this huge international adventure? While we're hitting on a 10th anniversary here this evening, by coincidence, 10 years ago, when I first met Ken on the Sanctuary Advisory Council and he was telling us of his diadem and Carl work at that time and looking for help, we jump-started him with a microscope and a, a camera. So I told Ken, you know, the best way to get people to support this project is to show them what you're doing. We're one of Ken's platinum partners in this process and we hope to be a partner for decades to come. In fact, we've, we asked Ken to help us in the past few years with the Carisford Reef, which we've noticed over the past 25 years has gone from great coverage down to about 5% coverage. Ken's passion for uh, coral restoration is unsurpassed. Uh, if I had to think of one person that makes a difference uh, to the marine environment and the corals and the reefs, uh, it would be Ken. So these are all cutting California coral that we take from our parent colonies that were growing in a different location. And we, we cut them, we hang them here with monofilament, and they sit here for about a year. And this will turn into something like this in about nine months, and it's ready to go out on the reef. I mean, the first time I ever went down on the nursery, uh, I was amazed. I've, I've done a lot of diving over the years. I was floored by what he had accomplished underwater. Last year I was invited to go out with Ken Niedemeyer and his team with the Coral Restoration Foundation and uh, see what they're doing to restore our coral reefs. Learn a little bit about the nursery that they have where they grow coral from healthy ones and you know two of the corals uh, that they they're growing are the Elkhorn coral which you know I did a little painting for them here and uh, the staghorn and these two corals actually went on the endangered species list so you know that was a real wake-up call but here's Ken Niedemeyer you know thinking hey the ones that survived they're probably stronger so he took little clippings and they have this entire nursery you know just below the surface of the ocean in ideal conditions and the coral is growing it's growing fast and uh, you know, it takes somebody with vision, like Ken, to realize that, hey, we plant trees in the forest. Why can't we plant corals in the sea? The volunteers are the lifeblood here. To watch these people get it for the first time when they see this little chunk of coral that they're working on and then look around the nursery and see thousands of them and then translate that into, hey, we're going out later and actually going to transplant these on the reef. That makes a huge difference. I think Ken Niedemeyer has done such a service for Key Largo by sticking with what he started out doing 10, 15 years ago, raising coral to transplant onto the reef. Whoever else would have thought of doing it, thought that it would ever be successful, and that it would bring us international attention. People from all over the world are coming to help him. And I think that is a remarkable thing for one man to have accomplished. Ken, what you're doing with Coral Restoration Foundation is giving people hope. You're giving people a purpose for going out and being in the water, but more importantly, you're giving people hope for coral reefs, not only here in the Florida Keys, around the state of Florida, around the wider Caribbean, but in the world. All over the world, coral reefs are in trouble, and you're providing a source, a solution. You're providing a way to, for people to be involved in doing something good for the coral reefs. And at that time, little did we know that you would be an international figure, really giving people hope for corals and coral reefs all around the world. CRF and Ken Niedemeyer have been asked to travel to multiple countries to export what we've been able to do in the Florida Keys. It's a very positive story about the coral reef restoration. We've been asked by over 10 countries to investigate coming to their country. The goal is to train the local populations on the techniques that have been used in the Florida Keys and use those techniques in their local community under local control for the benefit of the reefs in that country. We didn't know about Key Largo dry rocks, that came later, but Cary Fort Reef, further north where the Ocean Reef Club was, was exquisite, the most beautiful place I've ever seen. And in 1950, I started to do underwater photography. And my favorite reef always, always was 
molasses reef was a favorite spot where schools of fishes out there, pork fish schools, spade fish schools. CRF's main mission areas are education, action, and results. In 2013, we opened this new education center, which is great for training our dive programs and teaching children about coral restoration. We also planted 10,000 corals. In 2014, for education, we will continue to seek ways to keep the public informed and involved. And that's everyone from school children who will grow up to become great CRF volunteers to the retired folks in our community who already have the experience and time to make awesome volunteers. Stories about Ken. Hmm. What do you think? What, what about that time when I was learning how to trailer? Uh, stop, no. Oh, we can't okay. tell that one. Well, what about the day when we took University of Miami out to the nursery? Oh, no, we cannot tell that one. I think I have a story that we can tell. Okay. So it was myself, Jessica, and one of our volunteers, John Cole. We were on concrete and had just finished planting 100 corals. And we got back on the boat, put all the, took all of our gear off, and tried to turn the boat on, and it didn't start. So we called Ken. And Ken happened to be actually out, out planting with a dive program. So he gave us all these things to try. We tried everything from flipping switches, moving the throttle back and forth, to banging the throttle with a weight. Uh, none of which worked. So circa about three hours later, we are still stranded on concrete waiting for Ken to come and get us. <laughs> yeah. So the moral of this story is don't ask Ken to come save you when he's planting corals. <laughs> The coral reefs are the rainforests of the ocean. And what Ken is doing, bringing innovation to the restoration of those coral reefs, it's to well be commended by a world stage, not just by a local community here in the Keys. It's one thing to talk the talk, it's another thing to walk the walk. Ken Niedermeyer has walked the walk for 10 years and more. He is an inspiration. He shows us by, to live by an example, and that's what he does. And he has this incredible support team around him. His wife, Denise. I know I couldn't do what I do without my wife, Julie. I know Ken couldn't do what he does without her. But the whole team at the Coral Restoration, it's phenomenal what they do, the efforts they put in. They are to be commended wholeheartedly. Ken, it's really hard to believe it's been 10 years since you called me and said, Billy, I have live coral growing on my live rock. What do I do with it? And at that time, you, you immediately started coming up with some ideas. And beginning with the small projects with your daughters and the 4-H project to where you are to now, it's spectacular that you've been able to do so much in only 10 years. Congratulations, Ken, Denise, uh, the family, and all the Coral Restoration Foundation staff. Uh, congratulations on 10 years. Ken, a message from the county commission, the mayor, Please keep up the good work. Stick with it. Uh, you now have the attention of the TDC. Congratulations for that, by the way. And just keep going. You know, I know that Ken last year replanted 8,000 corals on the reef, and his goal this year is 20,000. And he's looking to expand that beyond the Keys. I think what people have to realize is 20,000, 50,000. It is a drop in the bucket. We need 1,000. Ken Niedermeyers to go out there and do what he is doing if we are truly to have the impact that we need to have to save the commodities, to save the resources, to save the, the research and the medicine that, that exists in the coral reefs. We're proud of Ken. We don't know where it's going to go, but it's global and it's getting bigger every day. Go for it, Ken. We believe in you. Great job, Ken. Thanks. Thanks for all you do.